Miss. I know, I know. Yeah, I didn't fucking miss. 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 Get out of the car. Get the out of the car. I don't want to make you much harder. Get the Every day, police officers on duty face various situations, from simple to complex and even extremely dangerous. Guess what interesting situations we'll bring to you today. If you haven't done anything wrong, the police won't randomly check and arrest you. On the afternoon of May 21, 2023, Patrolling police discovered a vehicle moving unusually on the road and requested it to stop for inspection. Hey, how are you? Just have a driver's license registration proof insurance with you. I'm sorry? Oh, yeah, if you got yours, sure. What do you have a ticket for there? You're holding a ticket in your hand. Is that yours? Yeah, I think it's just a I just haven't cleaned my car. Don't judge me. Okay. <laughs> Where are you guys coming from today? Donovan's. Donovan's? Yeah. Have you had anything to drink today? Any yeah. illegal drugs? Any... Just alcohol? To be honest, I had two drinks. Two yeah. drinks? Okay. How's your license? Are you suspended? Anything like that? Oh, no. No? Alright. In the car were two young girls. The driver was Karina, who admitted to drinking alcohol a few hours ago. Therefore, the police asked Karina to perform a field sobriety test. The reason why I'm stopping you guys in the first place is okay. when you were coming over the bridge, I noticed that you guys were failing to maintain your lane. Okay, um, so I saw you guys laughing and joking. So, But yeah, as I continue were, to follow you guys down the hot... Oh, the sobriety test? No. I know my no. We'll no. cross that bridge when we get there. The other issue, I'm, I'm, The other issue is... You handed me a driver's license that says you're not 21 I'm until 20, next year. I'm 24 years old. So talk. No, you're the driver did. No, I'm 24 years old. So right now I'm asking you to step out of the vehicle so we can talk on the side of the road. Step out of the vehicle. All we're going to do is we're going to step on the side of the road. We're going to have a chat. And we're going to go from there. All right? All right, all right. How long ago did you guys leave Donovan's? 30 minutes ago. 30 minutes ago? How much did you really have to drink? Got really got it. Alright. They got me. So, like I said, I stopped you because the whole way down the highway, you're not maintaining your lane. Ma'am, stay in the car. Stay in the car. Stay in. However, the situation became more complicated when Olivia, Karina's companion, intervened in the test despite the police request for her to stop interfering. Do you have ID? Yes, of course. I mean, I'm on medication hey, right now. I, I just need to see your ID. I just, I, that's why I didn't drive. I, actually, it's my boyfriend. I'm going to put him on speaker if you don't mind. Uh, no, you can hang him up the phone. I'm going to put it on speaker. Thank you. Danny. All right. I can't find my fucking ID. Uh. Uh, yeah, if you got yours, sure. I know it should be. I have my debit card, I have my credit card. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, just sit over here. Do you have a shirt that you want to put on? Oh god. I guess we didn't have a shirt. Do you, is it that pink one? That's a dress. Okay, can you just... Wait, do I... Hang on, alright, just stand right here. You see where this pink is? This pink letters, or orange letters? Just stand right there. Karina, what's your highest level of education? I'm a, a sophomore in college. Okay, so it's fair to, to say that you know the English alphabet from A to Z, correct? Oh. Do me a favor, stand once again, feet together, hands at your side. Alright. All right. Right. I know, I know! You I don't fucking miss. play the last week! Miss! Miss! This is my mom's car! Okay, I mean, miss! Here. But, listen! I don't Olivia's boyfriend then appeared and took her away before the situation worsened. As for Karina, she failed the FST and was taken to the police station. Here, she continued to refuse a breathalyzer test. Nevertheless, the police had enough grounds to press charges. On December 24, 2022, Florida police received a report about a woman showing signs of being drunk and intending to drive despite many people trying to stop her. 
Step out of the vehicle. You're going to sit out here. Come on. I'm sorry. Sit right I'm here. staying here. Stay right there. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I this, apologize. Um, my name's Officer Mary Notch. Use police department. What's going on tonight? The useless police department? Yes. <laughs> do you live is, over here? Um, nothing. No, I I actually um, dispatch for Lee, like Leesburg Police Department. Okay. No, I was literally just trying to come home because I'm like, I don't want to even be involved in this tonight. Ma'am. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get you home safely, so... Nothing further happens if you get behind. No, I'm if not you get behind, to be... If you get behind that wheel, you're getting arrested. I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. Her behavior was very unusual. Her words, gestures, and actions were all not standard. Stop f***ing, girl talking. on the phone. Stop talking, please. You know that's your sister, right? I do. But okay. when you come and you bring that to me, and that f***er comes and brings it to me because he doesn't know who the. Okay. Well, what, what does that do? What that does that do for me? Huh? I'm sorry, but you're really um more of the um effeminate well, <laughs> type of shit that would happen here. And so you know okay. everything's great, it's fine. This dude, it's a Toyota. Shut the up. Hey. Shut. Hey. Up. Hey. Shut hey. Up. hey. You do not scare me, dude. Hello. I do not care about you. Hey, and this is the problem because this is why you need to be stop talking to me. The situation became more tense, leading to conflicts and scuffles in the process of preventing her from driving. I don't care about you. I don't well, care. I know. Well, ma'am, I'm gonna hang Here's out with you. My sure you hey, ma'am. You. Okay. 1026, 1026. Give me the 1040 shit I need for the goddamn pickup. I don't care. Sir. You know, this is shit. Sir. Hey, tone down the language. You oh, got patrons dude. sleeping. And you got kids inside. Oh, do we have kids inside? What the tone down the language? I don't care. I don't give a oh. shit, to be honest. I don't care. Go home. Ma'am. Peace out! You want to be in your f***ing right, piece of shit? Get the f*** out of the car. Get out of the car. Are you serious? Did yeah, that yeah, dude did. just try to... I did not try to push you. I don't want to make too much harder. Get the f*** out. Do I need to get out of here to go to jail? Because it's fine. I'll go to jail. It's fine. It was very challenging, but the police managed to get her into the patrol car to transport her to the police station and proceed with the investigation. Can come I on. please just... No, come on, sit down. You're going to get extra charges if you don't put your feet in there. Come on. I'm I trying mean, to be nice. Please listen to me. Other side. We're going to throw it in. No, please. No, I'm, I'm there doing There you go. It. The vehicle was stopped for inspection due to speeding at night, compromising the safety of those around. So why? Officer back for safe police reason for a stop speeding. Yes. You have your driver's license for insurance registration. Where are you coming from? Um, I was going downtown. You were going downtown? Okay, how much you got to drink? What's not too much? Uh, like one drink. One drink? How long ago? Okay. So do me a favor, I can smell alcohol, but I want you to do a step out. We'll do some tests and if I think you're okay to drive, I'll let you go. Do you have any weapon anything on you? No. Okay. Go ahead, step up. When asked, the female driver admitted that she had not consumed alcohol. However, under police pressure, she confessed to having one drink and later admitted to having two. Stand right here for me, please. Face me. Come right here. Okay. Do you have any injuries with your eyes? No. Do you have any injuries with your head? No. Okay. Put your feet together like this. Put your hands on your side. What I want you to do is, you see the tip of my finger? Can you see the tip of my finger? Yes, sir. Okay, you're going to follow it with your eyes and eyes only, okay? Okay. Don't move your head. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So here's the thing. I can tell you had more than two drinks. I gave you another chance. Be honest. I I had to go 114 over there to catch up with you. Speed limit is 65. Okay? Yes, sir. So let's just start this over again. Okay. How much you had to drink? 
two drinks and two shots. Two drinks and two shots. Yes. Was that mixed drinks? Yes. What kind? Keep cards with vodka and cran cranberry juice. Okay, and what kind of shots were they? After a while, her boyfriend appeared, thinking he could resolve everything. However, this was beyond his capability. Come over here. Come over here. Okay. Can you walk on those? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes. You're going to be walking heel to toe. Okay. You sure you can walk with that? Yes, sir. Okay. All procedures continued to be carried out. The girl failed the FST and was ultimately arrested. Face away from me, please. Turn around. Okay, put your hands behind your back. Let me see the other hand. Okay, let's go. Do you have anything on you that I need to know about? No, sir. No? Okay, I'll search you in there. Any legal violations must be accounted for regardless of the person involved, right? On October 16, 2021, after receiving a call from Walmart, the police immediately arrived. It was reported that three girls pretended to shop and stole items in this store. During the arrest, the suspects tried to escape. You're hilarious. Come here. Come here. Put your hands right back right now. Put your hands right back. I already told you. What did I do? Let me figure out in a second. But why are you running through this parking lot? I was Come looking here. for him. Yeah. Sit. I told him I didn't have Sit. it in my bag. I offered to Sit. Go. Okay. I offered to go back to some checkout and he was like, her, the cops are on the way. Sit down, you too. Where's the other one? She's in the store. We Look, have a so the reason that y'all are darting out, sit against the car, I please. I didn't dart out, sir. The reason that y'all all, all 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 were supposed to stay there yes. when they were talking to y'all. And then you decided you were going to try and step off. The cops, so right. I offered to go back through the line to get a receipt and he said he was calling the cops, so I just left the cart and left. Because right. I don't, I don't, cops for what, you know? I asked him if he wanted me to go back through the checkout line and he said no. He okay, then why is she cops. running? I was looking for her. I thought she went she, over there. She was she right behind you. Stop. I wasn't running. We weren't trying Can to Can you run. stop with the voice, please? Am I speaking to you in a calm manner? I'm, 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 I'm speaking to you in a calm manner. Right. However, it wasn't too difficult. The police found them right in the parking lot. The police requested to check all their belongings and clothes to see if they were hiding anything. Why is it all small denominations? What do you mean? Once, I'm a dancer, sir. Oh. Yeah, I'm a dancer in Daytona. Turn your pockets. I don't got pockets. You don't have pockets? No. Nothing at all? No. Okay. Mom, can you step forward just around the bag? Okay. Does anybody have any outstanding warrants? No. No? no? I've never been on trouble in my life. I just, I'm going to be honest with you, I just got arrested. Last year I called the traffic already. So I went to court and just got out. Okay. Why are you driving with no license? I didn't. I didn't know it was and I had a uh, failure to pay that I didn't know about. Okay. So, real, real quick. Yeah. They were all together for all, sure? All three of them. Okay. Yep. So what happened? Really, I didn't get involved with the pink. She was buying the drink or whatever. We're standing a customer host with the cart, talking to the customer host in the front of the store. So once the other girl was done checking out, she met up with two, and they all three proceeded out the door. The one with the pink hair was pushing the cart inside the store. They were all all three of them were participating. They were all putting everything in the bag. The girls presented and explained a lot to prove their innocence. However, the police had enough capability and experience to determine whether there were signs of wrongdoing. For whatever reason, theft is an unacceptable behavior. The girls were arrested and taken to the police station for further investigation. Speeding is a very serious offense that endangers community safety. However, this behavior still happens frequently with increasing frequency. On March 22, 2022, in Dunwoody, patrol police observed a vehicle going in the wrong direction, heading straight into oncoming traffic. The police even had to use an emergency siren to stop the vehicle. As they approached the vehicle, the police immediately smelled alcohol coming from the driver. The driver was a woman who admitted that her license had been suspended for a previous DUI offense. 
Um, like a, le- like a letter in the mail. What's it suspended for? Well, I'm from New York. And what is it suspended for? I think out here, honestly, I will tell you the truth. I think it's suspended for, you know, drinking and driving. I got you. Around well, that write time. Write down your full name and your birthday for me. I don't know if you can understand that. She explained that she needed to pick up her child urgently from daycare and drove the wrong way due to traffic congestion. Now, what were you saying about going to get your son? So I was going to pick up my son from Dunwoody Academy. Mm-hmm. Um, I usually pick him up around 4.30, 5 o'clock every day. Okay. I don't know if I was driving, you know, a little out of hand today. On the wrong side of the road toward oncoming traffic? Yeah. Yeah, I was because of how they were driving as well. Was because of how they were driving as well. Women. <laughs> How much have you had to drink today? I probably had one drink. Did you didn't... smell really badly? Yeah, no, sir. I didn't drink like that. I could okay. do whatever drink. Like I said, I'm from New York. I didn't know how okay. it goes with the drink. Right, well, do me a favor. Stand on the sidewalk again so we don't okay, get so hit. Like I said, I did get a... I don't know if I can tell you. I did get a letter in the mail stating that I could, you know, reinstate and get the license, whatever it is that okay, I did. I'll be right back with you. Stand so on the sidewalk. I just don't want to mess that up. Upon being requested to perform a field sobriety test at the scene, she agreed. So it's got to be the same for every single person? I thought I want to move. Yeah, no, I'm not allowed to change it for you no, because it's got to be the same, okay? No, I understand, sir. All right, so do me a favor. Go ahead and put your feet back together. Hands down, touching your legs. And just stand like that until I tell you to move, okay? Okay, no problem. Okay. Yeah, keep going. Two. Three. Four. However, the test still failed. She had surely consumed quite a bit of alcohol. Nevertheless, when asked, she claimed she had only had one drink and was not intoxicated. Later, she admitted to having two drinks. At the police station, she provided a breath test sample, and the results showed that her blood alcohol concentration was twice the legal limit. It's unbelievable that she could drive to pick up her child in such a dangerous state. If it were you, would you act like her? Two thousand twenty two in Santa Rosa County, police stopped the vehicle for inspection. The vehicle had a suspended license from before. It stopped in the middle of an intersection, blocking the entire lane and a part of the intersection. This could pose serious dangers to the local traffic. That's the, that's the Ford, that's the registration. I'm not sure if it's the current one or not, but yeah, 6, 8, 29, 22. Awesome. And you said your insurance is on your phone? Yeah, I might, I might have a card in here as well. I just have okay. to, but yeah, it's not due until September. The insurance? Yeah. Okay, you got that one? Is that the valid one? It's the 19, no. But... Oh, okay. That's what I keep them all. Okay, well, if you can find the valid one, I'll look at that yeah. when I get back, all right? I'm sorry about that. Just hang tight. We'll figure out why it's suspended. The driver was a middle-aged woman. She was unaware that her license had been suspended. She appeared confused and helpless about the situation she had created. The woman explained that she was out looking for her lost cat with the flashlight. I got you. I was telling him I was in the process of moving, and my cat got out like the day that Mm -hmm. I was moving. And I got two of them, but he jumped out of the car, and so I've been out every night doing that spotlight and trying to find them. And... I got you. Uh, if you could just put your yeah. stuff either on your trunk or anything. Yeah. So, yeah, so what happened is it looks like it has to do with something with insurance. So what the state of Florida is weird when it comes to this. <laughs> yeah, obviously. So if you cancel an insurance because you sell a car, all, all your in- – I don't know what yeah, happened. No, I'm just I been, yeah, I understand. Yeah. Um, so what's going to happen is they're going to suspend – they're going to actually send a letter to the insur- to the Florida DHSMB and tell them, hey, she canceled her insurance, and then they're just automatically going to suspend your license. But I didn't cancel my insurance. After getting out of the car – The police searched the vehicle and found various illegal items. However, the woman continuously claimed ignorance about the existence of those items. I could conceal anything right now. Yeah. (laughs) Okay, go ahead and place your hands behind your back, please. All right, you're being detained. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Let me put my cigarette in the back of my case. Yeah, you got that. What am I being detained for now? Just hang tight. Just hang tight. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Why are you doing this? I seriously would like to know because... I will. Just let me get the handcuffs on. I mean, I've had about... I have been moving. Everybody's been helping. I am so over this. No worries. The police will find a way to uncover the truth. What needs to be done now is to bring the woman to the police station and proceed with further investigation.
around 12.10 p.m. on June 14, 2023. During routine patrol, a police officer noticed the vehicle moving at an alarming speed. That's back one It's okay. Just have your license registration insurance on it. So listen. Okay. You're gonna die. Why? Because I only have my registration. Okay, that's fine. And I have my insurance card. Okay. But my license is at home in are you, my other wallet. Are you the registered owner? This of is your course, car. Of okay, course, yeah, your 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 license will come up. Listen to me. Was I speeding? Yeah. You're doing 56 and a 30. Literally, I'm just trying to get home. Okay. Where are you coming from? I am coming from volleyball. Volleyball? Okay. Where's that at? At Leggett's. Okay. So he tried to approach the vehicle quickly and made an emergency stop. The driver of the vehicle was a girl named Dominique Sebastiano. She emitted a strong smell of alcohol. Her expressions and speech were not really sober. However, when questioned by the police, she still denied drinking. All right, well, I'm just going to have a deal. I'm just going to run you through a couple of other tests, all right? Sure, You sure. want to just turn your car off? I'm just going to have you step out. You're wearing shoes, right? Yes. Are you barefoot? Okay, I just want to make sure. What I'm going to have you do is just follow the blue light with uh -huh. your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Don't mm -hmm. move your head. Just keep it straight ahead. Keep your head straight. Are you following my eyes or my head? I'm just looking at your eyes. Okay. okay. If you don't want me to drive, I won't drive. Well, I do smell alcohol, and you're telling me that you didn't drink. I did not drink. I, I do smell it, okay? Listen, if you had a cup, if you had one or two, listen, that's perfectly fine. But telling me you didn't have any, and I do smell alcohol coming off of your breath while you're speaking to me, mm -hmm. and just the slurred speech, I just get you out of the car and I can smell alcohol, mm -hmm. okay? But when you're telling me you weren't drinking, but then I smell it, mm -hmm. I'd rather you just be honest with me. And then what happens? I just have to run you through field sobriety tests. No, what does that mean? The tests that we were just doing. You just did the eye what test. What does that mean, though? I need, do I get a do I? I need to see how you perform on these tests. No, I do not, I'm not getting a do I. Okay, well, if you refuse, then I'm going to go off of what I have. What does that mean? The tests that you did already. What if I just, like, go home in Uber? We're, we're past that point. After completing all the steps in the field sobriety test, FST, the girl was taken to the police station for a breathalyzer test. However, at this point, she refused to provide a breath sample. She became aggressive and angry, even resorting to attacking and assaulting the police officer. Wait. There's a process in our headquarters with another no, test that I, I have to ask you. No, I one more time, please. I, can't, I don't want to do this to my mother. Be <laughs> please, no, yeah. no, no, no. I don't want to do this. No. No, no please. <laughs> You need to put your hands behind your back. The quicker you cooperate with us, the quicker you can go home. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. <laughs> In the end, Savastano faced charges, including driving under the influence, reckless driving, speeding, failure to maintain lane, refusal to take a breath test, and serious assault on the police officer. Will she learn a serious lesson from this incident? Each video brings unexpected and dramatic events, doesn't it? How do you feel about today's videos? Let us know in the comments. And remember to like, share, subscribe to support the channel. Now, goodbye and see you in the next videos.